Just when you thought Microsoft Connect was dead, it rears its ugly head again. Well, in a different form. No, Connect may not have been a big success on the Xbox. There are people who will disagree, but overall, Connect did not do very well. And the reason it's dead now is because it did do very well. That's not to say it wasn't a good technology, it wasn't innovative, it was very innovative for what it was, or what it did. And Kinect is still used for a lot of things, like hobbyist projects, and there are people who use it for cheap mocap. It's very good for that, it's, it's actually pretty revolutionary for that. And now uh, Microsoft has this project called Project Connect for Azure. Now, Azure is a cloud computing platform that Microsoft has that competes with Amazon Web Services. And Amazon Web Services, or AWS, you may have heard of that, uh, powers a lot of websites that you visit. Reddit, Netflix, a whole wide variety of places. Most websites you probably visit run off AWS. And it also allows you to run various other types of servers and databases and everything. Azure is a competing product to that. It lets you run various services and websites and everything off of Linux or on Windows in the cloud. And you may have also heard of Azure technology in reference to the game Crackdown 3. Crackdown 3 is supposed to use cloud computing in order to handle the physics calculations for all the destructible environments in the game. The reason why the game is being delayed multiple times is probably because Microsoft is trying to get the latency down to real time. Because you're doing all these calculations in real time on a remote server and you need to get that information back to the client fast or it will cause lag and that's that'll be a problem especially if you're trying to play an online game because if you've got a lot of people playing the game and you've got these machines handling the physics and you're sending all that data back you're going to cause unnecessary lag because you're trying to do all these physics calculations for all these buildings falling apart and blowing up. So that's probably why the game's been delayed for so long. Well, Project Connect for Azure will also work with artificial intelligence. And AI right now is a massive industry. If you're going to college for information technology, you, there are two fields you want to be in. Two fields that are just blowing up right now. Robotics and artificial intelligence. You want to be in one or the other or both. Because those are hot right now. People are hiring in those areas. You've heard of Alexa. You've heard of Siri. You've heard of Cortana. You've heard of Amazon Assistant. All those use AI. And Azure also works with AI as well. You can run um, artificial intelligence, you can run AI systems and machine learning in the cloud using Azure and also with Amazon Web Services. So, a couple of years ago, Amazon opened some brick and mortar stores called Amazon Go. Now, the premise of the store is you walk in and you walk out without going to a cashier. You basically go in, grab the item you want off the shelf, put it in a bag, leave the store, and you are charged on your Amazon account. Now, how the system knows who's who is you have your phone with you and your phone has an Amazon app on it and you're registered on that app and it it knows who you are when you're in the store it knows you oh you pick this stuff up you put it in the bag you put this stuff up and then you you didn't put it back on the shelf you still have it in your bag 
and you left the store so okay, okay you have those two items we'll charge those two items to your account now it's not a perfect system the reason why Amazon is running those stores is in order to perfect it and get it working and get it accurate there have been a few cases where people have walked out with stuff that they that they weren't charged for in fact Linus Tech Tips walked out with some tampons that they didn't uh, they didn't get charged for but Amazon let it go when they called Amazon uh, customer service Amazon customer service was oh you can just keep them so the technology works it's not perfect it's still being refined but the reason why Amazon wants to get the technology working is they want to sell it they want to offer it to retail they want to make it to where you can go into a store pick off pick up stuff that you want off the shelf or off the rack put it in the bag or put it in your cart then walk out of the store without going into a line without talking to a cashier without any of that not without even going to those self checkouts that you see in various stores nowadays you just walk right out the door and you are billed on an account that you have set up with that store you probably have an, an app on your phone and the app will be registered to you and there will be sensors in the store that will read from the phone who you are so it'll know that oh th you're this person so you picked up these items so we're gonna charge these items to your account and then you leave the store and you're done you don't have to talk to anybody there'll probably be a few attendants there to answer some questions and and also to restock stuff on the in the store store floor but there won't be any cashiers and you don't have to worry about you know being have a lot of people in the store and only two cashiers being open and you have to wait in these long lines they want to get rid of all that so Amazon's doing this with their own stores Microsoft has decided to up the ante by using their connect technology Azure cloud and artificial intelligence and they're one-upping Amazon by partnering with Walmart so are we going to see this system implemented in Walmart anytime soon probably not I would say we're probably two years out from a test store maybe a couple of their uh, Walmart neighborhood markets those are grocery stores they don't have the retail section they're just the grocery to grocery store section of the Walmart stores in fact there's one here in Texarkana that we go to and it's, it's pretty good I mean it has a somewhat better selection than the uh, grocery store that's at the um, that's at the larger Walmart that we also visit but they want the same technology so what they will have is they will have Microsoft's commercial connect in the store probably built into the shelves also located elsewhere in the store and also you will have a Walmart app on your phone and you'll have a you know method of payment registered with that app so when you go into the store it'll have a sensor and it'll know who you are and so you pick up items off the shelf and then when you leave the store you don't have to talk to any cashiers you leave the store you'll be charged for those items on your Walmart account we're probably five years away from those being implemented in large scale so we will probably see a couple of stores small of the neighborhood market stores set up as a test bed where there were no cashiers you just walk in grab stuff walk out like it or not this is the direction retail is going because they have to compete with online stores because online stores are just convenient really convenient you go in there you order your stuff 
You don't have to leave the house and it comes to you and shipping to getting faster. Shipping to getting faster. Even, even Amazon is even talking about using drones to deliver stuff same day. And they there's even been talk that they may stop using shipping services, that they will start doing their own, that they will have their own trucks, Amazon trucks, going around from different distribution centers in the country to deliver stuff to people's houses faster. You could almost have same day delivery on stuff, you know, so bought from Amazon or, or same day or next day. They're probably a while from doing that, but there's been talk that they may do that. And so retail stores have to do something in order to compete. And having cashiers in the store costs a lot of money. Because you have to pay them, you have to give them insurance, and, and everything else that goes along with it. The bad thing is, is that means fewer jobs. It means that those people who would normally do cashier jobs would lose their jobs. That's the bad part of it. But unfortunately, that's the direction business is headed. The smaller jobs that can be easily replaced with AI or robots are going to be replaced with AI and robots. The more advanced jobs are probably still going to be, you know, kept the people. I mean, and there, we haven't gotten to the point to where, you know, an AI and robotics can replace everything. We haven't got to that point. But we're going to get there eventually. And cashiers are probably going to be one of the first major group of workers that are going to lose their jobs in a big way even bigger than you know people losing their jobs in auto plants because of robotics even bigger than that this is going to be on a large scale retail using technology like this you know it's sad but it's the direction things are going because retail needs to retail brick and mortar needs to compete with online in some fashion that's the way it's headed unfortunately so i've been mike thanks for watching